they, they're really excellent that way as far as uh, radio goes. Anyway, we're, we're, we diverge here. Let's go to the E3 SXB. Fred, can you hear me? I'm kind of pointed south here on, on the east side, but can you hear me okay? Yeah, the E3 XTM, the E3 SXB. I'm hearing you, Jerry, but you got an awful lot of flutter on your signal. No whether it's bang conditions or what I'm calling it, but I'm hearing you, and I didn't hear it on all. Yeah, okay, I'm trying to kind of southeast. Uh, is that a little bit better there? I just got to do south there now. Yeah, okay, well, that's a little bit better there. Yeah, it seems to have disappeared. I don't know what it was, but uh, yeah, here's a little bit of flutter. Anyway, um, not a lot more, Terry. You're asking about those two audio clips that you sent. Um, I played the first one, but I haven't got back to playing the second one. So anyway, the first one seemed to come through okay. It sounded pretty good there. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good representation of what I was hearing here uh, from, from my end as well. So, yeah, I think it would, uh, came out uh, fairly well. So uh, we can't complain about that. It's nice to get a, a bit of a, an audio clip like that to know how your signal's uh, getting out there. Yeah, very good. And uh, I wouldn't have really paid a whole lot of attention to it until you mentioned it, I think it was last week one day, about uh, how fast you talk. I never paid much attention when I talked to you here on the radio, but when I got listening to it on the audio clip, I don't know if somebody was speeding it up or what, but you sound like Donald Duck. You were going a mile a minute. Yeah, I was uh, moving along, that's for sure. He was slightly off frequency to me as well, too. He perhaps doesn't know my, my voice. It was a little bit high pitched, so that was adding to the uh, sense of uh, speed. I think it was, uh, it was getting a little Donald Bucky there at times. Yeah, but other than that, Terry, I mean, that was sounding, uh, sounding pretty clear. Well, like I say, I haven't uh, I don't played the second one yet, but I. But I do there, and uh, yeah, everybody's radius possibly off a little bit, like you're on 245, and I've got you on 244.8, but uh, that's not a big deal anyway. Yeah, I got my uh, GPS uh, standard working again. It was acting up on me, but I took it apart and uh, did a little bit of uh, fix-up on it, and now it's uh, locked into the satellite. So I'm accurate to 10 to the minus 7th in, in hertz now, so anybody who wants to dispute me, even even the ICOM guy, I'll, I'll, I'll argue with the best of them. Yeah, well, it's not like you're off, you know, 10 or 20 uh, kilohertz or anything like that. So uh, not to not to worry, you know, as the old saying goes, that's what a rib is for. Learn how to use it. Exactly, exactly. Very good. All right, Fred, I'll hold you there, and I'll go to VE3 JVG. Jason up in Drayton, can you hear me? I'm pointing uh, kind of south here now, uh, Jason. Yeah, Roger, no problem, Terry. If good, solid S9 up here off the back of your beam. But, uh, yeah, I got the uh, recordings, no problem. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, strange hearing yourself uh, over the air when you don't hear yourself very often. You wonder, well, who the hell is that talking? But, uh, anyway, they were good recordings, good to hear everybody. And, uh, yeah, I'll agree that uh, he was a little bit off frequency for you. And, uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, good all around anyway. I passed that along to Ken. He got uh, to listen to them also, so it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say about them. So, uh, you're probably hearing uh, Mary had a little lamb. She's trying to uh, show off your area. So, anyway, back to you. I wondered what that was. I thought uh, you got the TV on in the background and some famous violinist is performing, but uh, I, now that I, I understand who it is. Yeah, she just started uh, picking it up. She hasn't uh, picked it up probably in about a year, and uh, she found herself with some free time, so uh, she's messing around with the violin again. Well, that's good. That's good. Glad she's able to uh, pick it up and uh, go with it again. So, yeah, so it's nice to get uh, things into a bit of a schedule there for yourselves. And uh, spend time every night things uh, commuting back and forth and from um, Brampton to your workplaces you got time to do other stuff with now creative time yeah that's true and uh, she mentioned she opened up the uh, radio license but I, I have yet to see that in her hand but she says she has I think you slipped it under a pillow there. Maybe you want to check that. Uh, she's trying to learn it by osmosis or something like that. Anyway, we'll go to there, Jason, and we'll go to the E3NYX, Renzo in Hamilton. Uh, come on in again, Renzo. The E3NYX, are you still with us? Renzo has gone. We'll go to VE3 KCY Ken and uh, Alma. Come on in. Yeah, 
guys, good evening, Jerry, and uh, everyone else. Uh, you got uh, a good crew here by the sounds of it, and uh, yeah, we're, no rain here. I heard you say it's supposed to rain. I guess I didn't hear that in the forecast earlier today, but uh, I just got down from the shop, and it's definitely not raining yet, so I guess that's what we can expect overnight, is it? Yeah, the spring a chance of freezing rain overnight, so I hope not. Uh, I think it's a car park that I'm driving. My daughter is staying with us for the week with the baby because they're putting new flowers into the house. So, uh, two days for the week. So, that is it's a busy week. And I'm wondering if somebody might take the net on Wednesday. I think Paul and you are going to the Elmira uh, meeting. So, uh, Jason, are you going up to the Elmira meeting? I was actually planning on it, yeah, Terry. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe there won't be a net on Wednesday. We're not sure, but uh, I've got to. Uh, uh, we've got a lot of things going on here this weekend. Uh, Friday, maybe a little up here as well, too, because we've got uh, to a million company coming for the weekend as well, too. So uh, if I'm not here, maybe uh, again, if you're here, I'll uh, pick that up again. Yeah, I should be here Friday night, uh, not going anywhere this weekend. So, yeah, we should be good for that. All right, I appreciate that very much. Uh, you, uh, you can get that, and uh, thanks for letting me know, too. You're all off at meetings, and <laughs> it's a good trick to do that. But, uh, I think you probably get out better than anybody else on the, uh, on the band. Is this your amplifier uh, fired up again at all? No, I have not. Uh, done that yet? I've got my uh, the Tokyo High Power going again here, and uh, the other one I still I want to throw some grounding on it. Finish that off. That was uh, going to be a little harder to access, but uh, still not going to be hard to do. Just need some time. Yeah, I got the beam right on you right now, and your PCO about ten over, so you got a nice, uh, nice clean signal coming out tonight. So yeah, can you run that uh, seventy centimeter to bring less power than, than what you're running? It? I mean, uh, what is your normal power, and, and what were you running at? Uh, on well, on Friday night, uh, I think I was running. I don't know if I was running forty watts or sixty watts. I think I was at sixty watts. I I know I was looking at the meter here, and I didn't have it full out, but then I did. I did crank it up to the top. It is 80 watts, I believe, is that what that rig is? Uh, but I on uh, the uh, uh, with the amp on, I usually run it around 250, 275. Can you back that off a little bit? Maybe uh, 150, 175, because you, you might be creating more problems to yourself and to your neighbors and things like that. And you think know, that will the problem is too much power going out of it? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. And then, of course, nothing grounded, so that's a that's a big thing there too. Uh, so uh, the, probably some RF because I know the TV here. I was knocking it out too with it, uh, or knocking, making it go funny. So uh, that's when I get doing that again. I want to try that and see what uh, see what the outcome is. No, they're still there, and I'm waiting uh, for the fiber to be hooked up, which is supposed to be happening in about, the, I don't know, the next month, month and a half. So uh, once the fiber is hooked up, we sh we shouldn't, everybody should be on, the, won't be on the dish and won't be on the uh, tower, so that should help. Yeah, who's doing the fiber? Is it that guy from over in company out of Waterloo called Packet Works, and uh, they provide the internet for all the schools in Wellington and Dufferin counties, and they've uh, brought it up here, so uh, I'm thankful for that because Bell said they would never even bring us high speed up here. Well, that's good. What are you using the internet, then? It's a... Uh, well, it's, it, Packet Torch is a company, and it's just uh, over the air, comes in from Duke Street in Kitchener to a tower here, and then uh, it's fed in, fed into town, and uh, I bring it in from my shop. I shoot it back down to the house here on my on my own private Internet frequency. Very good, very good. Well, you can do right into the technology here, so you got your own little mesh network set up, I guess. <laughs> very good, Ken. All right, I'll hold you there. I'll put one more call up before we get to the uh, top of the list and uh, run uh, uh, a little over time here. So anyone else would like to check in, please come now. Victor Echo 3, Tango Romeo, Quebec. We've got ZE3 TRC, Tango in Waterloo. Very good. Nice to meet you today, Ken. I'll get right back to you. I just want to get up to the sun. It's easy to get out of here. It's your Waterloo. Uh, it's an early, early, uh, early ride.
Lions is going to get to Dan Rudy, too, to make up for it. But I'll get uh, down to you very shortly. Z3, speed does come on in. <laughs> An early riser, you say? Oh, okay. I like that. Anyway, I uh, appreciate your uh, thinking of me, Terry, so I will take the opportunity to bow out to say 73. And uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be around the rest of the week, so we'll listen on Wednesday if anything goes fine. If not, that's fine, too. I think I will. I don't know. I don't know for one day to the next what I'm doing right now. Anyway, carry on. You got a pretty good representation tonight, and uh, uh, you're, you're going to be busy all week with your uh, house guests and so on, so uh, make the most of it. That's all I can say. 7 3, we'll catch you later. The E3 XPM and Annette from the E3 HP. All right, Doug. I was trying to cover for you everything you were really wise or so, but uh, you just leave it on that one. So. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we've got uh, the little uh, uh, nine-week-old uh, baby here as well, too, so it's a uh, new intervention, that's for sure. It's very speaking of uh, not the uh, highest priority of being studying it. But anyway, Doug, send it through to you, and uh, we'll uh, get down to uh, DEC-TRC-10. I mentioned the mesh net version. There you were. Yeah, I uh, had to really wasn't on too uh, too much. I was just kind of listening. I just got back from uh, the Caribbean. Some nice warm weather. Oh, that sounds good. Where are you down there? Uh, we flew into uh, Puerto Rico and then uh, went down to Grenada, Barbados, uh, Martinique, uh, uh, St. Kitts. Sounds like you're on a cruise. Is that right? Indeed, we were on a cruise, nice and warm, and uh, good food, maybe too much food, but we sure did enjoy it. We didn't really want to come back. Yes, it can get that way, especially this time of year, and you come back, it's a freezing possibility, possibility of freezing rain and all that good stuff, so yeah, no, it's just nice to take that little bit of a break and get away with it. Yeah, I actually turned a whole bunch of stuff off, turned off my computer, turned off the power supply to everything, and it's kind of strange coming home and having everything dark and nothing running. Yeah, it's probably up to say that your, your hydro bill would be enough to pay for the uh, trip. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I also have a, uh, a floor heating system that's electric, and uh, yeah, everything else just kind of disappears in the noise with that. Yeah, they throw out a bit of uh, RF, do they? No, it doesn't throw any RF out at all, but uh, it runs about uh, 11 volts DC and about 80 amps. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. That's a little bit of, that's a little bit of power there for sure. But you got nice warm floors. Is that the way you eat the main way you eat ice? No, actually, it's just in the, uh, the basement floor on the slab, and then I just covered it with the floor. It uh, means that the basement floor is never really cold. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it keeps the rest of the house a little bit too, but uh, it keeps the uh, requirement for the furnace down a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good option sometimes to, to take quite a way. See, a lot of people are putting those in bathrooms now, in modern bathrooms, so that that makes a little unfeeling and you're off the scene. You get lazy in the morning, so very good. So, uh, how long were you waiting? Uh, about 10 days. Uh, we went a little early and uh, to avoid any issues, flew into uh, Puerto Rico, stayed there for a little while, and then went on the cruise. Uh, I think I'm ready for another one. Well, you should rest up then before you uh, fly out again, you know, it could be a very taxing and so on. And we were talking uh, last uh, week about this, uh, this uh, radar uh, thing with um, uh, aircraft uh, thing you can uh, look at on the internet. It's very interesting to see. FlightsRadar24.com, and you look at the number of planes at any time, at any moment in the air over North America, and it's enough to, enough to, enough to save you out flying all the air. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, there weren't too many people flying uh, back from Puerto Rico to the east coast of the U.S. Uh, on Sunday. A lot of people with long faces, although I think uh, I would have been happy to have stayed where it was warm for a little longer. For sure, for sure, yeah. I think you know, probably got caught a little bit by surprise on that one. So it got to the floor, at least for the east coast of the U.S. It didn't look like that much in the pictures, but I just didn't see how much they got, actually. Uh, there was one place in uh, North Virginia that got over a meter. 
I guess that's a significant snow call for sure, yeah. I was talking to the talk to the New York area. They didn't seem to be played as much there, but maybe I was just uh, what I saw was just uh, representative. Yeah, I think they got about two-thirds of a meter, which is still a pretty large amount for uh, for there. I mean, we can handle it. Uh, they don't do re- nearly all that well. And apparently in North Carolina, they had uh, about a foot, but they didn't have any way to clear it off. Yeah, they're, they're not big on the snow. We were able to put them down there at all. So. Oh, well, good to have you back. And uh, if you're not to get your community back, that you'll see you back into the same thing. Are you getting up to the uh, media right here in Elmira? Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Uh, you're doing the FDR thing there uh, that night, right, Terry? No, I'm on in February. They're doing a thing on uh, uh, digital. They're just doing a copy of the thing on digital. Uh, um, Audio, 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 audio. I'm on, uh, I'm on for February. Oh, I guess I'm off uh, by a month on that. Yeah, I, uh, I'll i be there. Uh, I won't be here. I think that uh, I need to get back into the radio thing after being away for a week. I, I didn't touch the radio. Although somebody did say, gee, why don't you take it along with you? And I thought maybe that was a good idea, too. Yeah, there's one you want to run by your dear. Other, you're other in your life uh, when you make that kind of a new on a vacation. I thought they had to do the heavy down to something on uh, Mesh Network as well, in addition to the uh, talk on the digital audio, so you might want to look at that. Yeah, I suppose I should. I, I, I know there was a bit of discussion on uh, doing something, but it, I know that I need to make some adjustments to the uh, Mesh Nodes that's there so that we can uh, see it do something with it. But uh, And I am also bringing... Uh, Probably throw my uh, uh, front view dongle into uh, my pocket to take along uh, the laptop and see what I can do there. All right, sounds good, Ted. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to start the uh, 73 uh, now. We're uh, getting on to that point. Uh, Doug is uh, gone. Barry is gone. And we're uh, up to Romano and taking uh, it to the final in the 73. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey, I'll catch you on Wednesday if not. Uh, so this week, anyway. So everybody, thanks. Uh, don't forget to fight down here in uh, Bradford. I don't know if you can hear everybody or not. So the luck is too easy. He's pretty twice. All right, well, I'm going to send it to you. And I heard another uh, station trying to check in there. Please come again. CK3KO, um, gonna check back. Did you check with me before? I think you have, it. Yeah.
Tommy, well, you didn't yell stuff pretty well. Yeah, I got to go on that six here. Uh, I don't know if you got the beam on me. I think I'm pointed directly uh, uh, pretty close to where you are, but uh, not, uh, you got any good signal, so it looks like you're uh, here. Is this one you built yourself, this transverter? Great, yeah, it's got the pure cherry. 6500 has tremendous uh, processing uh, power that, uh, that's in the radio itself, which is uh, the way they've gone with that whole thing. Of course, the direct conversion as well, so uh, it makes a huge difference. So, well, it's good to hear. Um, and I, you know, there's, there was a noise reduction feature on the 5000, but I've never used it. Uh, it just, uh, as you said, uh, I just found it, uh, that NR function, it just uh, distorted the signal and didn't really do much to clean up the noise at all. Sounds like you've got the same uh, same setup I have. I have the dual receivers in the uh, the, VF, uh, the uh, BHF and UHF module in there as well. So the only trick of that one is when I found out the hard way, I have a really nice uh, transverter here, a German Kuna, and I was going to put that onto my Flex 5000. I thought, uh, but once you use the two meter transverter uh, with the Flex, you cannot use any other two meter or 70 centimeter transverter. So that was a bit of uh, a shock to me and a bit of bad news. find a way to do that. The only way I could uh, find of doing it was putting it in the receive loop and then, but of course you can't really use it very well that way. But uh, no, I, I talked to uh, the guys at Flex and they said, no, once you've got the, uh, the built-in uh, uh, units on the Flex 500, or Flex 5000, you cannot use another two meter or 70 centimeter transverter. So you can use any other transverter, but not those. So I was, I was pretty upset with that because I had this Kuna uh, transverter, which is really a top, uh, top of the line kind of transverter. But uh, so I operated with a little 1500 it work there, but you don't get quite the same uh, signal to noise ratio there. Anyway, Mike, good to have you in. Are you going to stick around for a minute? I'm just going down through the 73 list here, and uh, you can check the other signals coming in if you want, or you can 73 now if you want to get out. Thank you for the uh, 
on 3DU2, thanks for the signal report. Well, we'll go back up to the uh, list again over in the E3 PVB. Paul, come on in for your final and the 7-3. Yeah, the final is uh, getting Mike in and at 6 myself. Very good signal, Mike, in as well. I'm listening to you on a 25-watt uh, Kenwood TR-751A, and uh, hopefully you get me reasonably well down there. And Ted, I just might be wearing my shorts and, and my sandals. I just might be wearing them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll be talking at you, Terry. Take care, and uh, nice to hear everybody on, and we'll stay to the bitter end. 73, everybody. That was me, Paul, and we'll bring in VE3SXC, Fred over in Bradford. Uh, come on, are you still with us, Fred? Yeah, VE3XC and VE3SXC still here listening along there, Jerry, at least listening to the ones I can hear anyway. All right, were you hearing uh, Mike from down in Port Colbert? I was hearing him uh, quite well when he first came in, and then all of a sudden he just disappeared. So I don't know if he moved his beam, cut his power back, or what, but he pretty much disappeared there. All right, very good. Well, come on in for your final in the 7 3. All righty. Well, not, uh, not too much more to add here, Jerry. Thank you. Anyway, with that, Terry, I will say 7 3 and get out of here, and I'll show up Wednesday and we'll see if anybody's here or not. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll catch you another day there, Terry. So have a good night. So we'll talk to you later. 7 3 V3 SXP. All right, Fred, uh, 7 3 as well, too. Good to have you in. And V3 uh, JVG, Jason, way up in Drayton. Come on in for your final in the 7 3. Uh, VE3 XTM in the group from VE3 JVG. Yeah, we are picking up Mike here fairly loud about an S9 on his peak. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to comment on the upcoming uh, contest this weekend. Everything 50 megahertz and above. Uh, I think it starts around uh, 2 p.m. Saturday till 11 on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, six meters opened up for a little bit there uh, last night, Terry. Got a couple more contacts. No new grids, just a uh, couple of people we hadn't spoken to before. So, uh, other than that, nothing else new and uh, no rain here yet. So, uh, thanks for running the net. We'll try to be here on the Friday. I think Wednesday we're going to be at the meeting. So, maybe we'll talk to you then. Uh, 73 from VE3 KBG. All right, Jason. Well, good to hear that you, uh, yeah, the, I won't be available on the contest. we got a uh, house full of company on the weekend, so I'll pretty much uh, cut that out. So, But uh, we'll uh, maybe get a chance to maybe listen in just a little bit, but who knows. That was three, Jason, and thanks for checking in. And we'll just do one more try with the E3 NYX. Renzo, are you still with us or are you gone? I think Renzo is gone. The E3 KCY, Ken, come on in. Yeah, I had a comment that I wanted to throw in there earlier, and now I forgot what it was, and somebody else was talking about something else, but, uh, you know, they'll call that a senior moment, I guess, so I'll just uh, go away and uh, quietly, how's that? So, <laughs> anyway, thanks for doing the net there, Terry, and uh, we will uh, probably, well, if you're in Elmira on uh, Wednesday, we'll see you there, and if not, we won't see you there, so... Maybe we talk to talk to some of you later on uh, after the meeting. Uh, if the net is going, I should be home probably by 20 after or so. So uh, unless it goes real late, but uh, so we may catch up with some of you then. So E3 XTM, V3 KCY. All right, Ken. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, you're too young to have a senior moment, but we'll let you we'll let you have an honorary senior senior moment. How's that? Okay, and. Uh, if it comes back to me, I've got to write it on my forehead. Yeah, write it backwards. When you look in the mirror in the morning, you'll be able to read it. So, all right, good, good uh, again, seven three, and uh, we'll catch up with you the next time. At least three TRQ, Teddy. So, we'll see you. All right, yeah, I'm still here, uh, thinking about whether I should wear shorts to the meeting on Wednesday or not. Oh, Paul is throwing out the throwing out the challenge, is he? Yeah, I think he did uh, throw out the challenge. His signal was a little lower than the last time. He must have pointed his beam to listen to somebody else, so I couldn't hear him too well. But in any case, 
uh, hope to see uh, a few people on uh, Wednesday evening anyway. Uh, 73, uh, the E3 XTM from the E3 TRQ. Short. There you got it. All right, very good, uh, Ted. Thanks for checking in, and, uh, and uh, glad you got back safe and sound from your vacation, and uh, and uh, all refreshed and ready to go back on another vacation. Anyway, this is uh, VE3 XTM, uh, Terry and Guelph. This is in the Guelph Amateur Radio Club, two meter side bend net. There will be another net on Wednesday, perhaps, if we can get some people out. I will not probably be available Wednesday or Friday this week, so uh, there will be a 77 meter net uh, at uh, 432 uh, 210. Uh, at 9 o'clock, and I think uh, if all goes well, Ken um, V3 KCY will be looking after that one, and uh, we'll have some backups here too. we got Paul and Jason and various other people who can jump in. So, All right, thanks uh, for everyone for checking in. We had 10 of us on tonight, which is a nice uh, turnout, and we'll uh, turn the frequency back to regular amateur radio. This is VE3 XDM, and I am clear.